this one feature on the ET5 changes everything. And I can bet that 90% of you guys just ignored it. You guys know me, I've owned my Neo EC6 for over a year. It's so damn good, I wouldn't sell it unless someone put a gun to my head. But this one feature on the ET5, this just might be the feature that makes me want to sell my car and get the ET5. And this just opens a whole new universe of possibilities for Neo. And I can't believe it's on the ET5. This is like an iPhone moment, man. The best part about the ET5 is actually not the car itself. Now to understand fully what this thing is, you have to think of a fighter pilot. He has his helmet, right? And then in, in his helmet, he has his visor that displays all the critical information and targeting system and all that kind of good stuff. Now, imagine if you had that on your car. I know, sounds crazy, but that is exactly what Neo is doing with the ET5. Augmented reality glasses that Neo has announced that goes along with the ET5 is the biggest leap in technology. It's it's like when we had the Blackberries and then you all of a sudden had iOS and iPhone. This is equivalent to that. This is the iPhone moment, but for cars. Why is it so amazing? First of all, it's not the glasses that does the processing, all right? You gotta get that clear. It's actually the car that does the processing and the car transmits the signal to the glasses and the glasses can display whatever. So that makes the glasses light since you don't have to have the processing chip. And this just also means that you have all the computing power of a Neo 1016 tops of computing power for your augmented reality needs. What's really insane is that first of all, those glasses, right? Will and Lee has said that it's equivalent to watching a 200 inch TV six inches away from you. That's crazy. That's a lot of display room. And even though right now they're only using it for infotainment, right? So you can watch movies and all sorts of other stuff. But down the line, you can use it for navigation. You can use it for all sorts of other needs. And what's most amazing is that you can have apps integrated into the whole AR world. You know, one of the biggest complaints I had with my Neo when it came to Neo versus Expo, it was Expo had a lot of different widgets and apps on their center console. And I was thinking, why was Neo not doing this? Well, now it don't make sense because you don't want to be doing this. This is, this is cumbersome. This is, you know, it's not ergonomic. But if you had the glasses and you're like, hey, I want that. I want this. Cool. Uh, let, let me go over there. Cool. And you're just navigating and controlling everything through these AR glasses. So you heard me right. Neo could be launching a app store for the AR glasses and of course also the VR glasses. And these are all super light because it doesn't have any of the processing unit. Think about what Apple's App Store has done for Apple. And think about Neo and the possibilities that this offers. This is just limitless possibilities. In the future, you no longer have to interact with your car through that. All you have to do is just look through the glasses and just point to stuff that you see on the glasses. Of course, right now, even though the use case is only for infotainment, what's really cool is that in the future, we might see cars that has none of these. No dash, no center console. It's all done through the glasses. You put on the glasses, you see your speed, you see your navigation, you see everything. And this is the first step forward. And of course, Neo can find multiple ways to monetize this and create a whole app ecosystem just like how iPhone has done with their app store. For example, you put on the glasses, you see the speed, you see the navigation, the roads, you see where it's supposed to be going. But if you don't like the design layout of that, you could buy a package that just turns that into something else, gives it a new look. The possibilities are absolutely limitless. Are you getting this, guys? You can just have all this stuff displayed in your glasses. That is why the ET5 is so damn exciting. Even though this is just the first generation of it, if you think about the first generation of fighter pilot visors, they're probably not that good. Probably couldn't display that much information, but you know, this opens the door for more possibilities and everything that they add on is just a software update away. So the hardware is already there. 
it's only limited by the software. If you think about Apple, the iPhone, and the App Store, when the App Store just launched, there was basically nothing on it. But as time progressed, you got more and more apps, and the whole ecosystem just keeps on expanding. And this is the first step for Neo. And once you give it some time and more app developers hop onto the system and it matures like the Apple App Store, you're going to see a lot of money generated on the software side for Neo. So I hate the fact that you guys didn't understand the full potential, but now you do. So please share this video so that more people know about this. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss the next video.